Hey guys, this is the Cajun Karen Sanders again. Some guy told me that my YouTube videos were some of the most boring videos on YouTube. So, today I'm going to see if I can top that. Now that was in regards to a oil change video I had previously. So, I'm planning on next oil change to bring in some strippers to help me. Try to spice things up a little bit. But, until I do that, they're going to keep staying pretty boring. So, I wanted to show you what I got here, which is an old Mopar filter that came out of 6.7 liter Cummins. There's only five parts to it, right? You see four parts. You're wondering where the fifth part is. <laughs> but you see, this is just a shell. You can make a glass out of it if you want to. Uh, the spring is in the bottom. There's no, there is no check valve on this thing. I'm sure there's a check valve somewhere in the engine, but there's not one on this. Here's the fifth part, rubber seal up here. Probably one of the most critical pieces to the whole thing too. But uh, that goes like this. And uh, this filter, don't worry, this didn't just come out of the engine. This thing has been dripping for two weeks before I'd come anywhere near it. But it goes in like that. Now the uh, the oil actually goes on the outside. Of when it, it doesn't, I used to think that well, when it went in the engine, it would go in this way, and then flow out the outside. But it's just the opposite. So it actually goes in. This is sealed off right here. The seal sits right here. It's sealed off. That's what makes it filter. So the oil goes in these holes and it comes back out the center. So you know when they tell you to fill your filter with oil, ideally if you're really anal about it and to stop from possibly getting those little pieces of aluminum that are in the cap of the new oil which supposedly has caused some plugged up ports uh, in the cylinders and stuff I don't know anyway ideally you would when you put your oil in your filter put it in on the outside here and I never have I'll probably try next time but um, that's the supposedly the perfect way I always make sure I don't put those I watch very closely when I peel the aluminum off the top of those gallon jugs and uh, Although I find it really hard to believe that that could stop a, a diesel, but you never know. Uh, the other thing is, uh, like I mentioned in one of my videos, and I'm working on something that I think you're really going to like. But uh, this, uh, you want to keep your, uh, your oil out of this little groove right here. I heard something over there. It's a duck. You want to keep the oil out of this little groove when you're taking your uh, filter off. Because if you get oil in there, even if you got Geno's cap on it, if you get oil in here when you tilt it, it just drips forever. Diesel oil has the ability to drip and drip and drip. So that's that. Five pieces, no check valve, just to keep you in reality. Here's a brand new one from Walmart, seven bucks. Seven dollars. Order it online, pick it up there, seven dollars and change. Brand new, before and after. So, hopefully this has been the most boring video you've ever watched. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, Merry Christmas and adios.